March. Thank you. You're welcome. What's up you guys? Hey, check it out. We got another little adventure on our Big Bear off-roading experience in Matt's beautiful, beautiful, super upgraded Jeep. And uh, yeah, this is called the Squeeze, guys. So enjoy this. I hope you enjoyed the last video going through Little John Bull. How sick was that? Wasn't that amazing? That was a ton of fun. <laughs> that was a ton of fun. Yeah. But we're back up here again. This is gonna be a shorter video, but again, we're, we're gonna do all these trails individually for you guys. And this one's called the Squeeze. So get ready. We are almost to the Squeeze. We're, yeah, I think it's gonna be down a couple of minutes. So there's a little bit of trail to get down there. Which is great. Give the video a few extra minutes, eh? Yeah. But we're, um, we're up above the Holcomb Creek campground. I'm sorry, not Holcomb Creek. The Holcomb Valley uh, campground off of 3N16. Um, you know, I mean, you can't, it's probably hard for you guys to yeah. see that there, but that campground's over here. And we're up here, so we're gonna come down this way. Um, we're not too far away from it. But we thought we'd show you these cool little trails. They're kind of winding. And then there's a special, beautiful little boulder arrangement up here that they call the squeeze. And uh, hopefully we can show that to you guys. And I'm sure you guys can uh, imagine why it's called the squeeze. <laughs> well, when you have two giant boulders that you got to squeeze through. There it is. There it is. <laughs> yes, sir. Nick, thanks for clarifying that. <laughs> <clears throat> um, there's a really good view of San Gorgonio. Right yeah. There. It's gorgeous. Look at I, that. I hope you guys can see that on the camera through the trees. Yeah. I, I, saw, I caught it, but now we're kind of behind it. We'll catch it again. And this time, there's really not a whole lot of... Uh, doesn't look like there's any snow back there, does there? No, no. Snow's, snow's gone. Snow's gone. I don't know if you guys can see that. If you guys zoom in right there, you'll, you'll be able to see San Gorgonio sticking up over like Summit and Bear. All right. Sweet. Sweet. Yeah, and a beautiful day. Spectacular day. Just like the little John Bull day, man. Just like it. <laughs> Almost exactly the same. <laughs> Tons of wildflowers, really clear skies. Gosh, it's probably fresh scent. You know, high 70s, maybe getting into the 80s, but it's just perfect. A little bit of a breeze. All right. There's someone parked up there. Probably doing a little rock climbing or something. But that's the great thing about this place is, you know, you can come out with your family friends and you know come camp up here or go for a day hike there's so much to see around here and a lot of most of the trails you don't need a really built vehicle I mean, most yeah most of them you can kind of get around I mean a lot of them are just service roads uh, that the fire trucks you know go on but some of them are a little bit gnarly <laughs> Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Some of you guys that invested good money in a vehicle like this, man, take advantage of it. Take advantage yeah, of it. Yeah, don't be a mall crawler. Well, so I, I figure I know what that means, but what's the definition of a mall crawler? <clears throat> Someone who tricks out their Jeep. And just drives on the main streets and goes to the mall? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sounds like where I grew up in Newport Beach. Yeah. There's a lot of that. <laughs> All these spoiled <laughs> kids, kids' parents buy them the nicest rigs and they never see the dirt. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> well, I think they there's some statistic that only, gosh, what is it? Two percent. Was it one or two or three percent of Jeep Wranglers ever go off road? That's crazy. That's such a crazy stat. You know, hey bro. guys, in the comments, commit, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, what's, please. What's the stat on that? Oh, here's a couple of days. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Look at these beautiful rocks. Yeah, these rocks are <laughs> unbelievably beautiful. Wow, look at those, guys. Just a cool little area here. 
It looks like a rock monument right there. And we are approaching. We are approaching the squeeze, squeeze. folks. Here comes the squeeze. squeeze. Here comes now, the squeeze. If it's gnarly, I'm going to be squeezing something, and I'm. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Sorry. Uh, sorry, you were saying. <laughs> <laughs> now, let me boast about you know this Jeep. Uh, you know this is the factory width on my axles. You know the vehicle. It's a 2005 Jeep. Oh my gosh. Unlimited. It's pretty narrow. Here's a squeeze right here. I'm going to get through this no problem. Look at that, guys. It's inside the damn Jeep right now. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Now, if you're rocking, like, you know, a Hummer. Yeah, or... <laughs> no, no chance. No chance. <laughs> or K5. <laughs> or old Ford Bronco. You're probably going to have a tough time getting through you're gonna have a bad time. But yeah, there's a lot of little beautiful spots in Big Bear, backcountry like this, where you can come out and kind of explore all these little roads. Dude, this is gnar. Oh, oh my oh, gosh. I cleared it. <laughs> that anticipation of I know. the bang. Am I gonna Just clear it or not? <laughs> my heart stops, bro. Oh. You sounded like butt. But that's it. That's the squeeze. Um, so that's a short, sh short little video. So I'll I'll keep it going on this trail yeah. for a, a little bit, you guys. I mean, there's a bunch of spectacular scenery right that here. That was really cool, man. I mean, check this out. Look at these freaking rocks, guys. This is all so unbelievably beautiful. I didn't know we had all this back here. Yeah. Hey, um, this reminds me of a time when I was in, I don't know, right out of high school, early college, many years ago, 30 years ago or whatever. We camped at Castle Rock. Yes. And that was an epic trip, and there's a bunch of view. Look at that guy up there. Oh, yeah. That, that guy's, guy's climbing. Look, guys. He's he's rock climbing. Wow. Right that's, Check that that's out. That's so cool. That is so cool. Do you think he knows we're here? He could probably hear us. Yeah. Should I honk at him? No. Dude. <laughs> 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 oh, that's terrible. That is terrible, Isn't that dude. Terrible. It's, it's, it, you know, it was that's just a, a bit amusing the thought, yes. but we would never want to hurt anybody. No. <laughs> it's funny. Though. It was funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gee whiz! Look at these rocks. It's just beautiful up here. That guy's stoked. Tons. I mean, oh, you don't yeah. need to go to Yosemite. You can just climb some of these rocks, For right? sure. <laughs> For sure. In Who wants to climb North Face anyway? Oh, God, no. <laughs> That's like the most terrifying thing I would... You thought this was terrifying. Uh, uh, it's my dad. He's like, hey, dad, let me call you back shortly, okay? Because I am in the middle of, of off-roading on some really scary roads. Alright, I love you, Dad. Alright, bye. God bless him. I love I, I love my dad. It was so hard coming back to Florida and leaving my dad uh, because of the shape he's in. Like it was yeah. it was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. But I kept on telling myself as we got closer to the end there that you know what? Instead of coming back in a year, because I don't know if I have that much time, I'll tr I'll try to go back next month just so I, I don't feel like that might be one of the last times I ever see see my dad. Dude, it's the like I've cried so much over it. I've been miserable. It's been the most depressing thing ever. I can't see anything. I can't. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. We'll find out. Ooh. Oh shiza. I take that back. You know, some of that is my bumper, but that one right there, that was my, the skid on my, my tank. Wow, this is kind of tight squeeze. Yeah. This is a squeeze as well, yeah. But yes, I have a heavy duty skid for my, my gas tank that hangs. And it's meant for that. It's meant stuff. for that, yeah. Okay. So that one right there, that was definitely the gas tank. Yeah, if you don't have that, you could rupture the tank and oh, blow yeah. us up, right? Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Alright. That'd be a sweet video as long as no one got hurt. 
Guys, you have so many options for trails up here. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. Endless. It goes left, right, straight, forward. Some of this is kind of like rally car racing. Totally, bro. <laughs> I was just thinking that. Have you ever had any close calls flying around? Well, I'll be honest with you. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I have. <laughs> yeah. And um, that's, and I admit that. Not that I'm being reckless. No, but because that's what people I think, do. I think what happens is in this environment, you know, when you're a novice, you you have to kind of, you know, you have to learn the etiquette and learn. Um, and there is an etiquette about this. There definitely sure. is an etiquette, sure. yeah. But you know, I mean, it's common sense too. If you're coming around a blind turn, you gotta go slow. Yeah. There, there was kind of like it's not like I was. It was on three and ten um, skyline. Oh. You know Skyline, the yeah. video you did? Yeah. Two I was on 10. that, tr or what is it? 2N10. Two 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 yeah. And in that video, um, I don't know if you're on that exact turn, but there's a couple of blind turns up there. And man, there was another guy in a Jeep, and we just we almost hit each other. I mean, he was going about the same speed I was. We weren't like going real fast, but I should have been more cautious. No one flipped anyone off, though, right? No. You guys are like, oh, I understand. Hey, I understand. Well, yeah, we're both kind of like, oh, shoot. Was... <laughs> yeah, look at these damn rocks. National yeah. Forest line. That round boulder right there. That was cool looking. Just a big old round boulder. So, I'm assuming that the... Uh, the uh, theory of how a lot of these big boulders end up in the middle of nowhere is from being carried on glaciers. And <laughs> then when, when the glacier melts, it obviously has nowhere to go. And then it just sits there. Doesn't that make sense? Uh, I think so. I agree. You're talking about here in Big Bear? These that are in the middle of freaking nowhere, like big ass boulders. Oh, you I would assume. Wow. But because this, this whole area was all under ice back in the days. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's gone through all kinds of... Numerous times it's gone through that, yeah. through that cycle. And you know what's crazy is that in, in 1913, before all the technological boom and all the cars and this and that, that was when the hottest temp was ever recorded before everything going in, into the air. And uh, that was at Death Valley 134. But for us to like think that like we're seeing the hottest temps ever when we've only been recording them for maybe 200 years, the Earth has been around for what four or five billion years. So for 200 years out of it, how I just don't understand how people can be so certain, especially when there's evidence of ice ages and then the complete opposite, and then another 20,000 years it goes through that same cycle. But yeah. People are, are so adamant that, yeah, it's the hottest the earth has ever been, even though we've only been doing records for, for 200 years at the best. Yeah. But, yeah. There's an interesting article. NASA uh, did a study and posted an article about the underwater volcano. I think it's called Tonga. Uh, yes. It erupted yep. a couple of years ago, I think it was, and emitted trillions of gallons, you know. Probably more to that than extent. every human combined. Well, on the water, it, not only history. does it emit CO2, but it also emits, you know, water vapor into the air, which the study said it was going to take 10 to 15 years for that. Holy smoke, really? That, that, that moisture to come out of the air. And in the meantime, I think what's That's happening crazy. is maybe causing, you know, more of the humidity that we're seeing. Which is how you'll get bigger and, and well, wetter the, storms. The article, interestingly, indicates that water vapor is acts as more of a heavy-duty greenhouse gas than anything else and so it's kind of kind of an interesting, that's interesting yeah it's kind of interesting i mean kind of already know that but hey guys we get to get educated on yeah. this channel as well all right here Thanks, we go Matt. i wanted to show you this area over here but 
I think we're gonna come come around here. Earlier, I could see the cabin in the meadow. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, off Holcomb Valley Road. Oh yeah, we're gonna get to see it up here. Yeah, we actually camped. Uh, in fact, it's funny, my friends and I camped here recently. God, it was right around here somewhere. And this is just a spec. There's all kinds of campsites right here, as you can see. Oh, people. that's Holcomb right there. Yeah. Holy smokes. So we're coming around, there it is. I didn't realize this is where yeah. we're, we're, we're being dropped off. You were really good at your directions up here. Yeah. I know that might help, well, but helps. still, that, <laughs> it's, I, I'm, I'm not good at reading maps. I, I, I used to be good at reading a Thomas guide. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is just spectacular back here. Yeah, guys, I wish we had a nice resort up here this is where the town had its all its population back in the gold rush days guys was in this area right, right here. here this is all the gold mining history there there were thousands i of think people there was 1500 people oh well, was it only 1500 well that's the, correct me if i'm wrong there's either 1500 units like homes yeah or 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 buildings or or 1500 people i forget which which is which and nature obviously they tore a whole bunch of it down but Nature yeah, there's really nothing left. Takes except it back. <laughs> there's a couple of areas that are where the placer mining the took took uh, took place, where they have um, kind of where the milling areas are, and there so there's a couple of circular areas with like a metal post sticking out. That's I think there's a couple of other remnants of a long lost era of the gold gold mining, but um, this right over here is Holcomb Valley campground yes so yes. you can go and there's you know i think there's uh well i don't think there's fire pits there anymore but there's a bathroom and they have formal camping spots there so so we're we're, we're coming around the back side of that now so you're gonna go all the way to font skin area and, uh we're and gonna come, come we're gonna be coming down well we've basically finished the squeeze yes yeah but now what we're doing is we're coming um we're gonna come down into uh, it's before fun skin we're gonna come down fully canyon okay i thought that was back that way we're, no we're gonna go down fully canyon oh. eventually okay okay guys i'm learning so much up here yeah this is stuff that you have to experience to really know what to expect this is great man this guys this really is such a gorgeous area you can smell pine oh yeah it's just dude, unbelievable. The fresh air up here just so you guys get I love these meadows. There's a bunch of these meadows around. This um, was my favorite part of the whole whole mountain range when I first moved up here. There, there's another there's it. another one that's very close to here. We can go check it out if you have time. But um, it's up here and it has an old, like a kind of a barn looking building. So it looks kind of like picturesque. I wish I had extra time, dude. Yeah. I trust me. I wish I had but extra But that's what time. keeps you coming back is you want to keep keep exploring this stuff. Yeah, keep exploring. Yeah. Guys, seriously, we are gonna be able to see and explore some unbelievable stuff that I would never ever have that chance to do because of this gentleman right here. Uh -huh. So just, once again, guys, we're all super thankful for Matt. And uh, yeah, thank you, Matt. Hey, thank you guys. I'm, thanks for letting me share uh, this, is a this, wonderful part of, experience. this part of Big Bear. It's a terrific experience. You guys are already here to see Big Bear. Why not see it, see it all in the back mountains? Couldn't agree more. Oh, it's so beautiful up here. And they have power lines up here, huh? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow. You wow. know, there's a couple of private properties up here, believe it or not. That's now, crazy. I don't know how that works, but <clears throat> now we're going to go down here. I think we're going to go past, this is 3N43 there. We might be going past Wilbur's grave, but okay. don't quote me on that. Okay. I've done a video at midnight at Wilbur's grave. I saw grave. that. I saw that, yeah. <laughs> I was a bit scared. But, yeah. But, uh, I, you, you're is, scaring me. <laughs> sweet. Because there is paranormal activity out there. Oh, is there? Apparently. Paranormal activity? Because there were lots of uh, people who were who were hanged up here. Right. For uh, their their gold theft or their uh, attempts. Hey, you know. And there's the hanging tree somewhere up, up here also. There is a hanging tree. And I don't still don't know exactly where that is. But you guess, guess what? Coincidentally, I just watched Huel Hauser did a video of Holcomb Valley up here and he visited uh, 
<clears throat> he visited, um, I think he visited Wilbur's grave and there was nothing on the grave. It was, really? I mean, when was that done? In the 80s or the 90s, something like that? There no, like Maybe late eighties. No teddy bears. Or no, there was like nothing that? on no it. Way. It was weird to see it like that. Yeah. Who would no desecrate it? Look at this little. That's look at how green that, look at that. is. That's so cool. That is spectacular. I think there's water in there. There has to be. Yeah. There has to be. There has to be. Maybe yeah. some like aquifers that flow up. There. Yeah. There has to be. That's dude. That now, is so pretty. In the springtime, that's all purple in there. There's like a purple. Didn't we see that on the did last video? Did we see video? that? I yeah. think we did. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah, guys, it was so purple. We even made a couple stops on the part one of this series. And guys, for those of you who are still watching, I forgot to mention, these are gonna be in a specific playlist so you guys can just easily flip to all these off-road videos, okay? You'll be able to tell which playlist it is because it'll mention something about like off-road experience or something like that. This is technically part three. I think, yes, our, of yes. our series. Yep, this is part three of our series. This is, the the main title is going to be The Squeeze. Yes. And then some. <laughs> I think we missed Wilbur's grave. All right. So it's pretty wide open from here. Yeah. Ah, uh, this is so much fun. We're on, Hol this is Holcomb valley road now so i didn't know that you could get here from going that way around it, the valley that's, that's crazy, what i'm talking bro. about is you wouldn't believe the web of roads that up here i mean it just it just goes everywhere it really is it, it really is fun yeah, that's crazy cool. and and you know every area kind of offers something different There's like a bike, uh, is it a race? Tour de Big Bear. Tour de Big Bear. That guy's on a, that guy's on a road bike. A mountain <laughs> bike. Well, maybe he took a wrong turn. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This tees off here. That way, I believe that takes you to Cox, Coxie Rock, or what's it called? Coxie truck trail and that takes you down the back side of the mountain that also takes you to that field we were talking about earlier have you heard of these dirty clubs dirty bear no but we're on 2n09 now guys this is eventually going to take us down to the lake to big bear boulevard close to the north shore so guys that's where we will end this third edition of big bear jeep off-roading series on, don't fall out. Oh, I won't. I'm uh, holding on tight. Now, this, these little dips here, this is flooded. filled with water yeah. in the winter. And so we'll, we'll come out here. Yeah, check that out. There's like a Jeep festival. That's what the dude was talking about. Man. Yeah. As you were saying about these. Yeah, yeah these get so deep, man. Yeah, totally deep. So guys, yeah, this this big or dip here, you, you typically have to drive to the left here because this will be almost as high as your car at some points, right? Uh, it, yeah, oh yeah, it gets, well, I mean, it gets like, some of them are like two, maybe two feet, two and a half feet, three feet at the most. It, oh, like, okay. But that's just back there. But that's pretty darn, that's a lot of water. That is a lot of water. Again, something that my vehicle would not ever <laughs> be able to do, but I do come up here when it is like that, but as you can see, you can drive around on the left side and not hit as deep of an area. some like Jeep thing up here too. Oh, I see, yeah. Yeah, something else going on. Here's a big, Here's a biker. A, a big pool yeah. area. And this has got, it's funny because this has really gotten deep right here. That was not like that, like a couple of years ago. Oh, 
fun driving on these back roads. Yeah, so. it is. Especially being able to get a little speed going too. Yeah. And it's so smooth because of the lack of air you got. Yeah. It's so smooth. This pulls up too, doesn't this it? This totally pulls like, up. Yeah. <laughs> like, this might even still be muddy. Look at these guys on e-bikes. Oh, sweet. It is muddy. Yeah. No go. Yeah. Our doors are open. I'm all crawling right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, watch out. There's probably mud flying. Man. Right, and then this, we're about to hit a paved part of the road. Yeah, this part right here gets gnarly in the winter. Yes, here. yes it does. If you can even, well, most people don't even make it to this point. Right. Most, most people. Well, this, this is the hard, in the winter, this section is the hardest part of Holcomb Valley Road. Oh, no kidding. Because, yeah, it just gets real icy and it's got an incline. And we were here last winter and it's just a cluster. Okay, it was, it was yeah. such a mess. There was, you know, we come up here on weekend right here. Everyone's all, you know, it's icy and everyone gets stuck. And oh, it was just a mess. There must have been 10, 15 cars up here, like backed up, you know, because they couldn't get through. Wow. So here's your paved road. Your paved road. And this. For a short little period of time. That was kind of the summit there. And now we're going to come, come down it into the lake area. So, a couple more minutes. Yeah, guys, another five or six, six, six more minutes of this video and we'll be back to Big Bear Boulevard. There's a couple of berms right here that are fun to go Oh, on. dude. He's crazy. He's crazy. You did this to me last time. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I was so glad when we were done with that. Yeah, I know, <laughs> I know. Scared. No, but... I'm trying, I'm trying to get you to fall out. Guys, that's scarier than it looks, let me tell you. Because yeah, it's like when you get into it, you're like, oh shoot. Yeah, and you expect you make it to sure be a lot steeper. You have to get out of it real quick. Like, you don't expect to... You gotta come down, you know, otherwise you get stuck and you roll over. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Oh, little, little squirrel. Little, little, little chipmunk. Chipmunk. Is that chipmunk or yeah, squirrel? Yeah, chipmunk. They look like baby squirrels. Yeah, but those are chipmunks. Chipmunks, yeah. I see. We've got Alvin, Simon, and Theodore. Oh, I see. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> Stopping around a blind turn usually isn't a... Yeah, probably not a good idea. Yeah, probably not. He's gonna let us pass. Sweet. Guys, I have to be honest, I'm feeling a little bit sick to my stomach because of the adrenaline dump. Seriously, like, uh, yeah, it's, are it's, you, a, it's, it's sustained. It's a, it's a great, great, great feeling. I'm not car sick. Right. It's just from like being so Your nervous. Your stomach is, yeah, right. Yeah, but I like that feeling. That's why I like going on the scariest roller coasters and stuff like that. 
because I like that feeling. Yeah. The feeling of the motion, I think we talked about that in the first video. At least for me, you know, I love the feeling of, of the motion, the moving around. And, you know, you're not just going straight. You're, you're shifting side to side and that, that really, you know, it feels, uh, you can feel it. <laughs> Definitely. It's scary. Definitely. Sometimes. But I feel comfortable with Matt at the helm here, so <laughs> that's important. Because oh, if, 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 if you don't trust the person in control, it's ten times worse. Yeah. Beautiful San, San Gorgonio. Oh, right yeah. There. We're going right. to see the lake pretty soon. Yep. Yep. Right there. Yeah, there it is. There's, you guys can't, can't really see it, but there's a little peekaboo view of the yeah. lake right there. And there's a, oh, there's a resort. Yep. Snow Summit and Senor Bear Mountain. San Gorgonio in yeah, the background. Yeah, that's, that's just Isn't that epic? that's amazing. And wow! Look at, and look at how green it looks too. Yeah. That is oh, so what a insane. Jewel. Yeah, that is so beautiful. From right here, it feels like we're in a different mountain range. It's weird because you don't you don't get to see that vantage point. Not much at all. You know? Yeah, yeah. So for San Gorgonio was always hidden for the, for the most part. Yeah. But just being up here looking at even even summit, you know. Oh yeah. Um, People don't get to see that view. One more shot. Oh, there's there a lake. There this is. is the money shot right here. Oh my gosh, guys. That's, yeah, that is the money shot right there. That's a postcard. <laughs> I mean, no question about it. Or a drone from right here. Oh. A few hundred feet up. We need the drone. Taking a picture there, that would be uh, redonkulous. We're almost to the end, you guys. Yeah. Only missed two two calls, so that's not. I can live with that. What's that guy selling right there, you guys? <laughs> what is, uh, oh, water, brother. <laughs> said it's a round trip seven mile hike. Oh really? Round trip. Actual physical hiking? Yeah. Or yep. The whole trail? Oh uh, three and a half miles to get to Butler Peak and then three and a half miles back from the Fonskin. Oh, I didn't realize area. it was that far of a walk. Are you sure about that? Oh from Fonskin. Unless I missed Yeah I think it's him. from that's the that's the distance from Fonskin. Yes correct. Yeah. But he's a uh, that's all he does in the summertime is uh, hikes like Mount Mount Whitney to the top and San Gorgonio and and change my underwear again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wish this guy wasn't here. I would take this at 40 miles an hour. Get over, guy. Get over. <laughs> Said it was a ton of fun. I think they have some, maybe have some snacks, and uh, you know they have drinks. 
for all you people who like to enjoy a drink yeah. responsibly. Absolutely. And there's the road there. Yep. So guys, we are just about to the end of the third part of this series. Hope you enjoyed this little cruise through the squeeze and getting our way back here to Big Bear Boulevard. Once again, thank you for hanging with us. Thank you, Matt, again for your just amazing hospitality <laughs> and and keeping us safe through this whole thing. And uh, yeah, thank you. My pleasure, brother. My pleasure. And, and thank you guys. And until next time, we will see you guys later. Peace, Peace out. out.